What's up, YouTube? We got another yo yo review to do. This is the berm from Reticulated Return Tops. So, the berm is huge. It's a huge yo yo, and it's got a uh, engraving on it there. This one does, anyway. Is that like a. Like a bug man or something? I don't know. Pretty cool. But, uh. This is the one of the most recent releases from Reticulated Return Tops. Uh, I was I was given the opportunity to play the prototype at uh, East Coast Masters, and I gotta say the uh, final product turned out tremendous. This thing is awesome. As you can tell, this is a huge yo-yo. Here it is next to the Atra. As you can see, the Atra comfortably fits inside of the berm. Uh, here it is next to a metal head. As you can see, also, a metal head goes inside. It is a huge, huge yo-yo. Huge. Uh, almost the size of a off-string. Not quite as big as an off-string, but almost. Um, let's get into the specs. So, 7075 aluminum, 68mm uh, diameter, 58.25mm in width. The gap is 4.59mm, but it only weighs in at 69 grams. Uh, this is a very light yo-yo for the size of the yo-yo. Uh, I would say it plays lighter than, was it the Sasquatch? Yeah, the, and I, that's really the only other yo-yo that this is comparable to, is the CLYW Sasquatch, but I think I like this better. Uh, so, uh, weight 69 grams, 10, mil 10 millimeter axle, uh, reticulated return tops, 10 ball uh, concave bearing, uh, and then an extra groove around the response. Just really, really a good playing yo-yo, very straightforward to the point. Um, if you run out of wine glasses, uh, this will fit almost a whole glass of wine. Uh, it's clearly a double shot, at least. Uh, maybe a triple. <laughs> and uh, just a big, fun yo-yo to play. I really appreciate them going for it with this. Just go big or go home. And that's totally what they did. And they did it the right way, whereas they kind of went crazy, and but they also put out a very straightforward one, sort of pretty close to each other. And that's the way you want to do it. You go crazy. Straightforward. If you're gonna go crazy, then go straight forward. And it's something for everybody. Uh, I would recommend picking one of these up, though. Uh, because of the size and because of 7075 aluminum, they are a little pricey. Uh, I think these are 85 for solid colors and then 95 for the splashes. The splashes look tremendous, though. I mean, you're getting everything you pay for when you get this yo-yo. It's tremendous. Uh, and the splashes look so good. The Galaxy one looks good. I think that one's sold out, though. Uh, 5150. A favorite of mine has come back for this, uh, and just some really, really good stuff. Uh, I mean, really top-notch stuff from Reticulated Return Tops, and God, the berm is good. God, it's cool. How cool is this? So cool. Look at it. It's bigger than my face. It's as big as my face. Anyway, let's go throw it around. I'll show you guys what this thing can do. All right, we're back with the berm. First thing you're going to notice is that this thing plays shockingly light for as big as it is. It plays pretty, it feels pretty standard on the string uh, until you bang the yo-yo off your hand. It takes a little bit to get used to because the yo-yo is so huge. Uh, there's just a lot more to hit off of your hand. Dead smooth, great grind finish. Um, it plays very organic too, very like floaty. It uh, can handle a little bit of speed as well. Probably just because the sheer size of it. Response is good. Makes a cool ping sound if you hit it off of stuff. Really incredibly capable. Um, gimmick is the wrong word, but for like sort of yo-yos that are out there, like in like very non-traditional ways, I mean, <clears throat> this really plays like as good as anything else, <laughs> like as as good as any yo-yo. Very premium feeling, and uh, just a wow! Is it cool? <laughs> like wow, right? Handles everything you want to throw at it. Just a big mamma jamma. That is for sure. All right, uh, finger spins, you can get that. Clearly, there's enough room in there. I'm going to do a fist spin. 
But uh, finger spins are doable, but it's hard to get your finger locked in, and it's pretty... It's muggy, so my finger spins are going to be bad for the next three months. I'm sorry. I, it's just what's going to be. Uh, you can do finger spins on this. You're going to want to try to catch it a little bit of an angle to try to ride that little, like, ridge in there. But uh, not really a finger spin yo-yo, clearly. Grinds are tremendous. Very smooth, too. I like that. I like it a lot. Everything Reticulated Return Tops puts out is, like, CLYW quality with, like, at, like, 60%, at, like, you know, 40% less. Um, thumb grind's very doable. So much room in there. <laughs> so much room to get your thumb. Response is good. Once you get used to, like, the size, it really plays awesome. And it looks awesome while you're playing it, because it's so huge. Yeah. So cool. Such a fun yo-yo. Uh, I really like it when somebody goes, when a company kind of just does something crazy, and but then it also performs really well. So it's not like you're just getting a gimmicky yo-yo. It kind of plays like crap just to be different. This plays awesome. It's so different. I would say that, like I said, the Sasquatch is probably the only thing that's even, like, remotely close to it, but it plays way different than a Sasquatch. But it's that type of, like, size. Uh, and it's 69 grams for the size of this yo-yo. It plays nice and light and floaty as well, while maintaining a lot of stability and spin time. And it catches awesome. It's almost shocking to catch it because of how big it is. But it's awesome. Super awesome. Let's go ahead, we'll take it apart. I'll show you guys the insides. All right, we are back with the berm. Articulated return talks. Makes a good sound. Solidly huge, as you can see. Just a very sort of simple cup design. Uh, it's just straightforward, organic shape. Very O, oh, very bowl. Uh, articulated return tops. Uh, bearing, the bearing they use in everything. Spins great, spins quiet. I really couldn't want any more than a, for, from a bearing than this. Uh, I don't think I've had to do anything to any of them. I think I have all, all of them at this point. They're all tremendous, great bearings. I like the cut around the response. I think that adds something to the play. Uh, keeps the response at bay a little bit. Keeps the string drag down. Uh, also just looks good. It's a good looking. Good looker. Uh, nice response pads. Kind of those uh, clear-ish ones. Very good. And uh, cool fade. This is, I think, the cotton candy fade. How cool is that fade? It's a good looking fade. Uh, came apart nice. Goes back together nice. Let's do pros and cons. Pros! Crazy shape, but organic and fun. Uh, solid price on it too for a 7075 aluminum yo yo. Uh, 85, like I said, for solids, 95 for splashes. There's really nothing else like it. It's about as premium of a yo yo as you could get today. Uh, grind finish is great, thumb grind's very good. Doesn't figure spin all that great, but you didn't really buy this yo yo to figure spin with it, you know? Um, the splash, the colors look great. I've said it before. Reticulated Return Tops does the best splashes in yo-yo today, period. Uh, nobody does it better. Everything Neil puts out, uh, it's, it's just better. All of the colors look great, and they're as much art pieces for the splashes as they are fun yo-yos to play. Um, like I said, grind finish is good. Very smooth, great bearing, great response. Um... It's a little big, I don't know if this is a con, uh, but it's not as traditional feeling as say the Atra would be. Uh, the size of it, you're gonna have to get used to a little bit, maybe use a little bit longer string just because of the whole size of the yo-yo. I've, I've been playing with it for a few days now, so it's I'm totally used to it and it's great and I love it. Um, but at first, because of the size of it, I was banging it off my hand a lot while I was playing. But that's, you know, you get used to it and it's great. Uh, you don't get float like this from any other yo-yo. You don't get just the size and just 
cool feeling. I've played a ton of yo-yos. I have a ton of yo-yos, and I have nothing like this at all. Uh, like I said, the the uh, Sasquatch from CLYW or may, is probably the only thing that's even remotely close, but it's heavier and I think more BH, you know, CLYW shaped. Uh, this is its own thing. This is nothing like the Sasquatch. It's just size wise, probably the only thing that I could possibly compare it to. And uh, I think I like this better, like a lot better. And it makes that awesome ding sound. Uh, but this can be picked up at retikyoyo.com as well as yoyosam.com. There are links down in the description for how you can go ahead and pick one of these up. This is the berm from Reticulated Return Tops, and uh, I really like it. This is one of the most fun yoyos that's come out in a long time, uh, and I'm a big fan uh, of Reticulated Return Tops, big fan of Neil, and uh, can't wait to see what he comes up with next, but uh, these should keep me busy for a little while, because man are they fun. Man are these fun. It's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.